is therefore to achieve higher and sustainable economic growth that will uplift the lives of our people and the other vulnerable groups in our country. To this end, given that issues of the youth are cross-cutting, the government has adopted a much sectoral approach in this regard. In line with our part manifesto, we have, among other measures, set out to do the following. Expanding education facilities and vocational training to absorb school leavers, collaborating with industry to provide apprenticeship, establishing a microcredit financing facility to develop small-scale youth enterprises, facilitating access to market opportunities by small and medium-sized enterprises, and reorientating the curriculum for primary and secondary schools to put emphasis on the skills subject to enable learners cope with the demands of self-employment and the labor market. For trade to have real impact in terms of economic benefits, it must be accompanied by measures targeted at enhancing productivity, job creation, value addition, respect of labor standards, and diversification. Zambia, therefore, looks forward to an integration progress that will lift millions of our people out of poverty. Mr. President, enhancing dialogue with key partners is crucial to getting the right policies in place. There is therefore need to build a strong global partnership on the youth employment, regardless of the adverse and regional situations. <laughs> 